FYI. Okay, you take this card. Okay, so it's ready. Everything's on. I just wanted to record what that was real quick. Okay. We're doing the provada. Yeah. Okay. I stuck my comb. Oh, there it is. Same thing. Ready? Just, yeah, I think you should just have to hit that button. Yeah. Okay. Hello everybody, my name is Michael Helene and I am the owner, stylist, education director, and like nine other things at Michael Helene Salon Gallery. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you the Pravana Blonde one. It is this really cool contraption that Pravana has come out with that actually looks like a flat iron, but it's not. It does not close, as you can see. It has a little gap. It actually is, uh, if you guys remember old school dryers where it put heat into the uh, foil or your uh, cap crown. I don't even know. I never did them. Cap highlights. And uh, it would process the, the blonde a little quicker. What this does is it actually directs the heat, and I'll show you on top of foil, it hovers over top. So you can see it doesn't push the hair, it hovers over top, it adds heat to uh, the hair uh, inside the foil in order to process the lightener a little bit quicker. Uh, it's great for lunchtime highlights, it's great for uh, doing an ombre or a balayage technique if you're doing it inside of paper or foils in order to push the highlighting uh, a little bit further, get it done a little quicker. Uh, say you are doing a super, super heavy highlight or uh, starting in the back and you get to the front and the back is done or finished. Uh, I always was taught that done means that you're done like eating, whereas, wait, 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 wait what, what did he teach me? Done is like not the proper use. You're finished, you're done eating, you're finished with something else. I don't know, I had a teacher tell me that, so in my mind I always have to say, finished. So when you're finished, and I don't even remember what exactly what he said, but I think it, it might have been Wayne White. Uh, so anyways, when you're finished with the back, you can do the full foil highlight in the front and then take your, uh, your, uh, your uh, well, not iron, but your wand here. I have to get used to saying wand. Take your wand here and you put it over top. Now you can use an assistant, do two of them and get it done twice as fast. It does work. I've been using it for several months. It's an amazing tool. Uh, and that's what it is. It's a tool, guys. It's not something you necessarily need. Uh, it's a wand and it's a really, really cool wand. So when you, uh, I'm going to show you how it works today. Uh, I'll show you a couple different techniques quickly on a few sections of hair, and then you can play with it and see what you like. Uh, now you can, you know, charge for this if you like. As far as clients go, if you guys are watching this video, uh, anybody that wants to get this done, it's great because it speeds up the time that it takes to do a regular highlight. Or uh, and keep in mind, I'm not going to do a highlight the way I normally would do it around the hairline. But you know, we'll do a weave, and that way you guys can see the color of the hair. It's a mannequin, obviously. She's, you know, probably about a six or so. Um, I don't know if it looks darker on the camera or not, but she's about a six. So we're going to use our foil um, to start, and I'll just do, do a regular foil technique to start with. Um, again, it may not be the best foil, but I, I'm trying to show you kind of what this does and how quickly it works. Now I'm using the Bravana uh, lightener that has coconut oil in it. It is a cream lightener. It's really, really nice. Uh, it spreads beautifully. You are not supposed to fold the foils. You're supposed to, and I don't have super long foils because I don't use them very often, so I just double up on the foils. You pull it all the way down, and then you're actually going to layer the foil on top of it. So if in the back you don't need this, you can certainly fold your foils and then come back around to it uh, at, the t at the front and uh, uh, just layer them. So dependent on what you're doing, uh, this can be super, super time, con uh, super, super time saving, sorry, not time consuming. Uh, and then you'll see I'm going to put the foil over top instead of folding it that way it doesn't get caught and then what I've learned to do is to fold the very bottom up so that nothing gets out this lightener occasionally will drip uh, I haven't had many issues with it 
but other people that I have spoken to have. So we end up with this. Now obviously if you're using a long foil, you won't have this bend over, but you get the idea. I don't do many people that are this long, so not a problem. Uh, anyhow, this would be a regular, you know, foil technique. You could certainly do an ombre as well, uh, you know, using a W shape or a V shape, I'll do that in a minute, uh, and use it to actually blend down and have it go from lighter to darker. I'm sorry, darker to lighter. Uh, in this case, we're going to try to go for an even, even, even lift from root to end. Uh, now, like I said, this has coconut oil in it, this lightener. It is absolutely uh, amazing feeling on the hair. When you feel this, you're going uh, to die. I mean, it just really makes the hair feel beautiful, and I've used a lot of lighteners. So you're going to use a technique that is sort of a rolling motion. Uh, they call it an elliptical motion and you just sort of roll it across just like this. So you're going to close it and you're going to do like an elliptical and it just puts the heat right over top of those foils. And like I said, you can keep going. We have an assistant do this. Uh, they say about 20 seconds or so. Uh, I find that 20 seconds works pretty well. Uh, again, this is a mannequin, so it'll be interesting to see what it does. We're going to find out here in a minute. do that elliptical here. I'm having to kind of cheat a little bit because I'm using shorter foils, but I should grab a shorter mannequin. But you get the idea. So it's sort of a this type of motion. So if you're looking, it's this type of rolling motion here. Now let's go ahead and see what we've done. Now this lightener will lift seven levels anyhow, but if you look at that, you, you can already see that it's lifting very quickly. Uh, hopefully in the camera you can see that. Uh, this also works great if you've got, um, you know what I might do is now that I've gone through everything, let's check this bottom and then I'll show them what it looks like with the lightener and then with the heat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this lighten at the same, at, at a different, uh, I'm sorry, let it this lighten without the heat and then do the other one. So I'm going to fold this up to get it kind of out of the fine. way. No, 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 you're okay. fine. Yeah, you're fine. Oh, they can see this. Okay, and then I'm going to use the heat at the top. And uh, what this is great for is if you've got somebody that has banding, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to show them what it looks like if I do the top and then not the bottom, and they can see how fast it goes in comparison. So anyways, if you have banding in the hair, if you've got anybody that has um, hair that won't lift that's been uh, like overly you know, colored, uh, somebody comes in with, you know, black box color in their hair and you're looking at trying to take them to uh, silver or purple, which seems to be the in. So uh, if you've got somebody that's trying to do, you know, a much lighter color and they've got box color in their hair, you'll notice that this will help to get some of that out. Uh, I've tried it on lots of different types of things and it really does make a difference. So, okay, that's about 20 more seconds. Maybe a little bit more, was it counting? So you can see how much higher that lifted just in that amount of time. Now keep in mind that guys, this is real time. I'm not, you know, skipping time or anything. You guys are actually seeing this in real time. Now that's with the heat. Let me show you what it looks like without the heat. So you can see down there, the comparison is pretty amazing. Uh, you can see where I've been doing the lightning here, or doing the, the wand there and not there. Can you guys see that? How much darker it gets at the ends? So it really, really does lift that up and give you that extra boost very, very quickly. Now while that's sitting, and I'll let that go ahead and process a few more minutes, uh, and then you know who knows, I might put the heat on it again, I'm gonna fold this back up here. What I'm gonna do is show you an ombre technique and I'll show you how to do it and then I can always come back and show you the end result later. But let's say, all right, we've got this beautiful red back here on this girl. You guys can see that right there, right? So let's say she wants to have this red, but she wants to have it go from kind of a copper to a lighter blonde. What we could do is take this piece here. Uh, again, you can use paper, foil, doesn't really matter. Let's take a little bit smaller piece here. We can get through it. Okay, so we're going to take our piece, we're going to do a, an ombre technique. And we're going to 
Lightener and Fair Lightener. Now the way I like to apply it is I'll start at the bottom, get some glue on there is kind of what I like to call it, and then you can start feathering it up dependent on where you want that to be. So we're going to take her all the way light at the bottom, if I don't break it. I'm trying to stay away from the away from the camera, guys. Just so you know, <laughs> she's got such long hair. Okay, so we're gonna use this. I'll take that out of there. We don't need that guy. And then, so once I get it all over where I want the lightest area to be, trying to keep it as smooth as possible. Then I'll start feathering it up towards the top. And again, you guys can, you know, do the W, or you can use a brush, or you can use a board. I mean, there's so many techniques here. I personally like to hand paint things um, without using a board. It's just not my favorite thing. So I'm, and I'm not going to take this up super high again. Her hair is really long, so we're just doing it for, tech, for, for to show you the, the wand for that, that purpose, not necessarily for technique. I can do a... a an ombre technique for you at some point, but we're kind of just doing this for fun. So, um, as you can see, I'm just trying to get a very soft feathered lightener effect where it's very, uh, there's not going to be a line in there. You get it very saturated. And you can see it's already starting to lift. This lightener works very quickly. I don't know if you can already see the dark to the light. Mm -hmm. Now, a cool technique you can do here is to, um, I did pull the lightener up here because I do want that to lighten a little bit. I want it to be blended, and I'm not gonna put the heat on that. So I'm just gonna cover the bottom part. I'm gonna cover that bottom like I told you before so it doesn't drip out just in case uh, if it does get too hot. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna just use the lightener or the, the, the wand uh, just on the bottom. And again, we're just going to let's get down to this a little bit. Hold it for a second and then I'll do it. So we're just going to use that same technique just at the bottom so that it does have a natural blend from dark to medium to light. And again, I haven't had any issues with the dripping. Uh, of the lightener. I know some people have. I was just smoothing that out a little bit. I'm just using that. Now I can go back and look at this, but once you get the hang of this, you'll kind of know where to start and where to stop. And once you look at it, you can see it's already starting to give me that red to copper to very, very light down here. If you look at the comparison, it's pretty nice. Okay, and you can really see, like, I uh, hopefully you can see in here how orange this is and how much more red is in that area there. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's just the heat for a few minutes. So we're going to I'm gonna fold this a little bit lower here, and we're going to continue that just for a couple more seconds. And guys, just imagine that you are, you know, working on this. You've done most of the hair. You're just trying to finish up the last bit of it. Uh, or you could have an assistant follow you right behind and do each section like this. And that way, when you get to the front, you're looking at maybe 30 seconds of processing time uh, or a minute or so of processing time rather than the entire 30, 45 minutes. So it really is great for the client. It's great for those people that pop in that want just a few highlights. Uh, you know, I think that you guys will find it works extraordinarily well and much better on a live person, human being, than a mannequin. So see how by just doing the red, or just doing the heat down at the bottom, you get the red to the copper to the orange, and a little bit of yellow in there because whatever she was beforehand. Um, it's pretty, pretty awesome, it goes pretty fast. Again, I'm not messing with the timing on this, this is all done live. So you guys can see that. Uh, I'm gonna fold this up here. Let it process the rest of the way. We'll rinse it and then we will show you the end result of those two products in just a few minutes. Uh, again, I'm Michael Holleen. Uh, see me back here for part two of the Provana Blonde Wand Technique and How to Use program. Uh, Michael Holleen with Michael Holleen Salon Gallery. 
Uh, that's www.michaelhaleensalon.com. I will be uh, having an educational program starting soon, so keep watching my videos, keep checking it out, and we'll have some really amazing stuff for you guys uh, in the next few months, okay? Thank you so much. Michael Haleen, out. I'll cut that part. Okay, cool. Thank you. So what I'll do is, are you, who's here tomorrow? Anybody here tomorrow? Calypso and James, are you here tomorrow? Yeah. Um, what I might have y'all do is just rinse her and dry her. Or I, I may just rinse her now and then let her dry and then take a video of it later. We don't have to do that tonight. Later stuff. You know, because it's just two sections. But I'm trying to